Hello, tractor people. Do you hear that beautiful sound? That's the sound of a tractor running. So here's the deal. I went to start the John Deere 950. Wouldn't start. Just went click, 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 click. Did it over and over and over and over. I said, well, you know what? I'm due a battery. So went to Tractor Supply, got a battery, installed it. By the way, that's the heaviest battery I've ever picked up in my life. I, I realize I'm getting old, but that's a heavy battery. Installed the new battery. Click, 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 click. Oh, shit. So went and got on the internet, did a bunch of, of reading, and they, uh, everything I could find said definitely the starter. It's definitely the starter. You're going to have to replace the starter. I said, okay. So I come out here to learn how to replace the starter because I've never done it before. So I was looking at this, and I see the electrical connection. So this is the hot wire from the battery. This wire goes to the alternator. So I took these off uh, first. And they were corroded real, real bad. They were just rusted. So I went and got some 60 grit sandpaper. I cleaned them all up real, real well. Put them back on there. Boom. It started the first time. So I just saved myself some money. This starter from John Deere is $500. There's no way I'm going to pay that for a starter. So I was going to buy one off of eBay, which is a China, the knockoff. And they're about, about $200. Now I don't have to spend anything. So, if you run into this problem with your little tractor and you hear clicky, 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 and you know it's not the battery, take these wires off and clean them real well and scrub them down with the sandpaper, and it might just work. All right, I'll see you later.